And this is going to be my spinach and my squash soup. So for that, again, you want one onion. And I like to use white onions in this because I think that has a, a milder flavor. But if you didn't have white, you could use yellow onions. So a little bit of olive oil goes in. And then my onion. And I just want to get that onion soft. Turn the heat up on that a little bit. Get that soft. And then with this, I want to have some of those vegetables that I was pining over in my garden. And here we've got some potatoes, which weren't ready in my garden, and some squash. And all I want to do is cut that up. And with that, you want some potatoes. And you want to make sure that you're cutting everything up the same size, because everything has to cook at the same time. So how are we doing here? All right, that's looking good. And now I'm going to put the vegetables in. So here's the squash. That was about a pound of squash. And the same on the potatoes, about a pound of potatoes. And now you want to get that going. And I want to give that a little bit of salt and pepper. And for this, I like to use both coarse salt and coarse pepper. So there's my pepper. And here's my salt. And now I want this to get soft a little bit, because I'm going to add some milk and some water to this later on. So I'm going to push that aside and let that cook there and bring up a skillet, because I also have to add to this some spinach. That's why it's called zuppa di spinaci e zucca. And here's my spinach, you see. And I've had it draining a while. And I just cooked that dry in a pan with no additional water until it was limp. Squeezed out all the water. And now all I want to do is chop the spinach up coarsely, just like that. And I'm going to be adding that later on. So I'm going to put that aside. Oh. Now, with this, remember I said that this is going to be a minestra type of soup. We're going to have some ditalini. And here it is. And that's really a soup pasta. It's a tubular type of pasta. And it's used in soups. It's used for something called pasta fazool. So I'm going to put about a cup of that into boiling water. That goes in. And all I want to do is flavor this in the butter. So I want to move that around, oh, for about two or three minutes or so. And while that's cooking, you want to give that a little bit of salt and also a little bit of pepper. So once that's cooked down, well, then you can add it to your, your potatoes and your squash that's cooking. Now, let's check that and see where we are, because that looks like it's done to me. And the way to find out is to just check that with a knife. And if your knife can go into those vegetables very easily, well, it is done. So now we have to puree that. But before we do, I just want to add my spinach. So now the sauteed spinach. I'm going to move this close to me, because this can get to be a little messy. So I just use a measuring cup, you see. And then put it into your food processor. And I would do this in small batches. You don't want to do all of this at once, because it'll all fall out the bottom. Trust me, I've done it. Then puree it until it's very, very smooth. And there's that. And now we can add that ditalini. And here it is, all well drained, you see? And that goes right into the soup. And then you want to mix that up, just like that, and put that in a nice soup tureen, and then serve it. 